Hey guys, okay, welcome back to another episode. This episode, I'm going to show you guys the use, the power usage of an Amazon Fire TV stick. This is the HD 1080p stick. And um, sorry about the, the so many cables. I have so much cables here, but basically this is powering the stick. And I'll just approve that out power in a sec. I'm, I'm going to plug it in and you're going to see it booting up, right? So the first thing is, uh, let me quickly plug this in. It's already set to watts. Um, so let's let's see what happens as I plug this thing in. I'm guessing it's going to have a good draw, maybe. Um, it says it, it shows a quite a low wattage here. And uh, as you can see here, nothing so far has come down. It's now, it's now booting up. Let's see if the wattage has changed. And we see very low watts. So I can't really explain the last video where we saw the wattage skyrocket out of proportion. Um, but definitely uh, it uses about just, just two watts of, of power. So I don't really understand why that was working that way. Maybe there's a difference in maybe the power source or uh, voltage conversion or something like that. But um, yeah, you're looking at... I would, I, I, okay, it's moving up to 3 watts, um, <coughs> interesting, um, so it's still booting there, uh, the boot time is, you know, a little bit long, but nevertheless, it's not really that long, okay, so it's, uh, it's up and running, and um, you can see the voltage maxed out at a probably about 3 watts, so that's not too terribly bad, and, and it's going, it's, you know, it's averaging at between 2.5 to 3 watts, so that's it, let me have a, a look very quick at the amps. And then that will be the video. Okay, so the ampage is quite low, 0 0.04 amps. So definitely we're gonna keep this thing uh, using the adapter instead of the USB port at the back of the TV because of what happened with the, the wattage draw. And uh, should be good to go. So guys, um, thank you so much for viewing and uh, well, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.